First tonight at 10, over one year after Indiana saw its first COVID case, now thousands of Hoosiers are in the process of getting their COVID vaccines. And this weekend, the racing capital of the world joined the race towards mass vaccinations. Fox 59's Darius Johnson spent the day at the Speedway to take a look at the path ahead and how far we've already come. To me, it's not a matter on if it comes, it's when it comes. Little did Hoosiers know a day later, March 6, 2020, the first COVID case would be confirmed. It was still abstract. Dr. Cole Beeler is the infectious disease doctor at IU Health's Methodist Hospital. He's been educating and leading healthcare workers for the past year. Our healthcare community is, is spread thin right now, to be 100% honest with you. The first death was March 15th. March 23rd, a stay at home order was put in place. We're going to be shuttering businesses and uh, losing jobs every day that this goes on. At that point in time, uh, the, the real difficulty was dealing with a lot of the fear that was going on surrounding the unknown, not just amongst the community, but also in our in our healthcare workers themselves. Indiana essentially shut down like the rest of the country. Masks became mandatory. Now we have to hunker down in a different way, which is why wearing masks will become the fashion of the day. And for the first time ever, there were no engines roaring during the month of May. Here we are one year later, and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway has been transformed into one of the first mass vaccination sites right here in Marion County. Experts call the rapid rollout of vaccines one of the biggest success stories out of the pandemic. It shows that as a community and a scientific community coming together, uh, we're able to build the technology in order to help develop these really strong, effective uh, and evidence based vaccines. And we love entertaining folks through racing, but this one was a really important thing to do for everybody's health. IMS serving as center stage in the healthcare world when it comes to eradicating this virus. It is pretty unique. You get to go through the garage, air, the IndyCar garage area, and then you actually get your vaccine inside one of the old F1 garages right alongside pit lane, and then you roll down pit lane. So nearly 17,000 shots given at IMS this weekend and more than 660,000 positive cases now on a decline. All of the stats that we use to kind of gauge how well we're doing in the pandemic are improving right now. And as the sun sets, there's light in each and every dose. COVID's going to be part of our life for a long time. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Darius Johnson. Thank you, Darius. Over 